Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our Cancer Rehab YouTube channel today. Um, we are super excited to have Dr. Terrence Pugh here to talk to us today a little bit about physiatry. So welcome, Dr. Pugh. Thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, I have some questions here for you that I thought um, folks might want to know more about what you do. So um, let's start with what is physiatry and sort of what made you get into cancer rehabilitation physiatry? Yeah, for sure. So uh, physiatry um, as a field is known as physical medicine and rehabilitation. So our job um, within the specialty are to take care of people who have illnesses, injuries, um, accidents that have significantly changed their physical functioning. So within the specialty, um, we take care of patients that have had traumatic brain injuries, strokes, spinal cord injuries, amputations. So those significant life-altering events that change their function, we help rehabilitate them from a functional perspective, from a medical perspective, um, and help them uh, reach their prior level of function or help them adapt to the new normal. So within the oncology space, uh, the role is very similar, but has a little bit uh, more nuance to it. So people who have a cancer diagnosis have either recovered from their treatment and want to obtain that prior level of function versus those who are actively undergoing treatment and addressing any impairments related to their treatment, either their chemo, radiation, or surgery. So what kind of drove me into the field was essentially that there was a tremendous amount of there were a tremendous amount of people who experienced cancer. It touches all of us. So whether it, we personally experience it, friends, family, other loved ones um, have this experience. And our job is essentially to help them before, during, and after treatment. So if you are a cancer survivor and things just aren't quite where they were before, physiatry, our therapy department, what we essentially help you do is identify your goals and then help reach them. Great. Um, so if a patient comes and sees you um, at Living Cancer Institute um, at your outpatient clinic, what things are you typically um, working on with them or looking at with them? So a lot of times I have patients that come in that sometimes they don't actually know why they're there, there to see me, right? Because the old mantra of, of cancer was essentially that we get you through your chemo radiation and surgery and then if the disease is cured or if you're if, or, or if you're in remission there might be some things that you're noticing a little bit different so whether it's balance cognitive issues swallowing issues pain issues swelling of an extremity those things were just kind of uh, the consequences of you know the treatment known complications but our job is essentially to say hey uh, let's just see if we can make that a little bit better right so are you having trouble getting dressed are you having trouble you know, with falls. Let's talk about equipment to make that a little bit easier. How's your thinking and memory, right? Are you, are you having difficulty sleeping, pain? So any kind of impairment related to your treatment or your diagnosis, we talk about, we identify, and we work to get those better. And we also identify what's important to you. Um, and so if your goal is to get back to playing with your kids, grandkids, we talk about how we're going to do that. If your goal is to get back to work, we talk about how we do that. So lots of options, but I think the important thing is just letting people know what's possible and what we can do to help. All right. And once folks come in and see you, what referrals do you typically make um, specifically to the rest of the rehab team? For sure. So uh, our rehab team is an outstanding team. So it's a very knowledgeable team, uh, multi-disciplines that can target specific impairments related to treatment. So our physical therapists work on gait training, strengthening, balance. Uh, we can talk about, you know, your environment and how you can navigate it successfully up and down stairs. Um, our occupational therapists work more with upper extremity issues. Physical and occupational therapy combined work for lymphedema, so swelling, uh, associated with treatment or your diagnosis. Our speech and language pathologists help with swallowing, trismus, which is painful jaw opening, identifying nutritional issues that uh, might impact their ability to gain weight. Um, and then our neuropsychology team, they're outstanding also because they help dig a little bit deeper into the cognitive issues. So if you're doing a job that requires a lot of uh, mental processing, identifying those specific deficits gives 
myself uh, and other referring providers an idea of what the issues are. And then we talk about medications, other therapeutic interventions to kind of help identify those and then target those to get you back uh, again to that prior level of function. Nice. Sounds like there's a lot of really great services that people can take advantage of. Yeah. Um, so last question would be, why do you feel like cancer rehabilitation, whether it's, you know, coming to see you specifically or therapy or neuropsychology, why is that an important part of someone's cancer journey? Because I, th I think the importance is just understanding what's out there. I mean, I, th I like to think of it as the best kept secret in medicine, right? So not a lot of people know that we're available and what we can do. Um, and so if you or your provider, you know, want to talk about some different things and talk about things that just aren't quite right, you know, we take all comers. So if there's anything that you're concerned about, we'll talk to you about, you know, those issues and then we'll kind of work for that. Um, and so given, you know, the number of patients and people affected with uh, uh, cancer diagnoses, I mean, I think there's just unlimited opportunity for us to kind of help. And that's the key. I think that we want people to understand that we're there to help and we'll talk to you about what we can and can't do, what's reasonable and not. But I think there's probably more out there than people realize and we're more than happy to assist in any way that we can. All right, great. Well, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk with us today. We appreciate all you do for our patients. Uh, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. And just don't hesitate to reach out if there's any questions or concerns. All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us online, send us an email, or give us a call. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are released. And most of all, be well.